you don't know kind, you're evil. Charlotte and shooter TJ Lane wears a t-shirt with the word killer on it. He snickers, smiles, and uses vulgarity in court today while his victim's family spoke about how he tore apart their lives. Lane was given three life sentences with no parole. We have live team coverage starting with News Channel 5's Paul Kiska. Paul Lane's tone was set the minute he walked into the courtroom. Well, it truly was. His tone, strange, bizarre, even goofy at times. But despite T.J. Lane's antics in the courtroom today, it appeared his fate was already sealed. There he sat, T.J. Lane, unbuttoning his blue shirt, revealing the word killer. Then he made a vulgar gesture and a vulgar comment to the victim's families. Lane wore another shirt with the word killer on it during the shooting spree. Lane's attorney, Ian Friedman, tried to avoid a life sentence by citing case law leniency on juvenile offenders. Uh, jurisprudence has uh, been toward more, not less, protection for juvenile offenders. But Judge David Fury would have none of it. Judge Fury said Lane faked mental illness, showed no remorse, and gave him life without parole. First, the defendant's conduct was without any provocation. Second, it was extreme. He was relentless in his shooting. He repeatedly fired his gun at these victims in sequence, moving in the position to better the aim. He inflicted extreme injury, and he kept shooting emptying the magazine that was in the gun of all 10 of the shells. Lane will appeal. TJ does have his appellate rights. He opted to exercise those today. Uh, if only to scrutinize the and look over everything that was done in this case. He has requested that the court appoint him uh, a lawyer uh, to do that. Our hope is that this community uh, and that the families that have been affected can at least begin to seek closure as this case here today uh, did finally reach its conclusion. Prosecutors said Lane sent his sister a haunting text days before the shooting spree. Very late in this process, we did find out that uh, TJ had sent a text to his sister Sadie uh, talking about a school shooting about six days prior to the incident. 